Do not be afraid. I am here to take you to a good life. A life that you were born to. I beg you, uncle. Love her as I would were I here and ensure that she is in receipt of all that is due to her as a child of mine. That is simply impossible. This is the story about Belle. He is willing them to take in his child and bring her up with love. He says what is right can never be wrong. What is right can never be impossible. She is black. She is my blood. But she is black. A detail you chose not to share with us. It is a period drama about one of the first mixed race aristocrats that we know about. What has she been named? Dido, Belle, Lindsay. She takes your name. I am not ashamed. We will call her Dido. It's a massive journey for Dido. She really goes from a girl to a woman in, in this story. She comes of an age where it's time to enter society, get married. She learns her adopted father, the Lord Chief Justice, is deciding on a huge case. He's just about to make a judgment uh, regarding the deaths of a number of slaves. Your ruling could bring the slave trade to its knees. Is that pressure not maddening, my lord? Let justice be done, though the heavens may fall. And that, of course, is sort of bound up with his relationship with Belle. Are you punishing me? And she starts to reflect on her own heritage and how the people around her, do they or don't they treat her as an equal? Why do you not dine with your family ever? Because that is not correct. May I present the second of my two nieces, Miss Dido Lindsay. I think it's very important that when we look at the history of Britain, that we realize that black people have been here. We're not new. Going back here 200 years, there were black people in all different walks of life, all levels of society, who've been here for a very long time. Miss Lindsay, would you do me the honor of taking some air with me? She also has her very first encounters with young gentlemen at the time and falls in love with uh, John de Vinier, played by Sam Reed. They don't initially get on Miss Lindsay, and it's only through their own growing awareness of their place in society that they start to fall in love. I have never heard anyone speak like you. Nor are you, Miss Lindsay. With the entrance of John in her life comes the opportunity for love. Sticky as it is in the beginning, it's not an easy process and allows her to grow. The journey from a protected, unquestioning young girl to a woman who takes control of her destiny. I have a tongue, madam. Though yours explains well enough why I may not marry your son. All the actors and all the, all the crew are on board here mostly excited about the, uh, the fantastic story and, the, and the, the richness of the world that we get, to, we get to live in. The audience will want to know what happens next. They will be interested in the story of Belle, how she deals with the problems that come her way. The story has all the kind of romance of a, a Jane Austen novel. So much of this story is about love and courage. And I like to think that sometimes love and courage are enough for the right thing to float to the surface. If I had your choice, I would choose the man I loved. There are rules in place which dictate how we live. You break every rule when it matters enough, Papa. I am the evidence. 